Hey there, and thanks for signing up for CloudApp. Uh, there are a ton of things you can do with CloudApp to increase your productivity, save time, and communicate and collaborate more effectively and efficiently. First off, to get you started, we're going to go over just the basics in this video. So first, before you've done anything, you should make sure you've installed CloudApp to your desktop. If you haven't done that, you can install it by going to your dashboard, going down to the bottom, and clicking Download CloudApp. You can download it from Mac or Windows, or you can go to getcloudapp.com slash apps, click download now, and again, download it from Mac or Windows, or uh, our Chrome extension as well. So once you've downloaded Cloud Apps, it will live in your menu bar on Mac or your taskbar on Windows. So first, the first thing you can do is take a screenshot. So you can just click here, highlight the area that you would like to take a screenshot of and then it will automatically be pasted into your clipboard. That way you can immediately, right after taking the screenshot, share it to other people. So you can paste that in Slack, emails, really anywhere, uh, and it's instant. So that saves a ton of time right there. Next, you can take a video. So you can click here. Again, select the area of the screen you'd like to record. And then there are a few different options. So first off, you can decide if you want to make it a GIF. Um, GIFs will have no sound and be only a minute long or 15 seconds on the free version. But then you can also decide if you want to have audio included or not, if you want your face to be included on the side or not, or if you want a full screen video there. Or you can decide to make this capture full screen or adjust the aspect ratio like so. You do that and then you can just click, drag and resize the area that you'd like to capture. From here you can also take a GIF, uh, which is the same process as a video, or you can annotate. So there's a couple ways you can annotate. You can, on an already taken screenshot, you can click here on annotate and that will give you the option to uh, use arrows, circle things, highlight different things, blur things, do a lot of different things there or you can take a screenshot and then annotate immediately afterwards. So we're gonna click here, select the area again that we'd like to take a screenshot of, and then it'll automatically pull up the annotation window. So there you have it, those are the basics of CloudApp. Uh, using those, you should be a CloudApp Pro in no time. Look forward to our next video where we'll show you a little bit more tips and tricks on how to get the most out of CloudApp. Thanks and have a good one.